In this video, I will show you how to fix this error. Boot device not found. Please install an operating system on your hard drive on your hard disk. Hard disk 3FO. So we'll be solving this issue in this video. Before we start, uh, let me show you my keyboard. Let me show you some keys. We'll be making use of these keys. So if we check here, at this end, if you see this is the escape key. If we check through this line, we'll get all the function keys. F1 to F12. So Techno will be making use of them, some of them. So we we'll check come here, this is the enter key. Excuse me, this is the enter key. And here we have these arrow keys here. Excuse me. We have the arrow keys here. So this is the left arrow, the right arrow key, bottom and top arrow keys. So take note, we'll be using some of them. So I'll just be saying this key, and you should know the ones I'm referring to. So now let's go back here. Now, when you're here, you just press the, the F10 on your keyboard. F10, press F10. So it takes you to BIOS. So once you're there now, you go to the arrow keys, the right arrow key, you move, you move to system configuration. Once you're there, you use the, the arrow, still the arrow key again, move down, the down arrow key, down. So once you reach um, boot options, click enter on your keyboard. So you use the bottom arrow key to move down, like so. So once you reach at uh, legacy support, if you check here, it is currently disabled. So you just click on the enter key, you get this option, disable. So you use the, the down arrow key to select enable. After selecting enable, you click enter to choose it, you get this option no and yes no is is currently being selected you use the left arrow key to select yes after selecting yes you click enter so if you see now legacy support is enabled so after doing that uh, you can just press f10 or escape so i'll press f10 to save the changes so you get this exit saving changes you, you press it clicks you click enter on your keyboard So after pressing F10 and saving the changes, as you can see the issue has now been fixed and it is now loading to the desktop. Basically that's how you can fix this issue. Thanks for watching the video.